so why is Greg Fitzsimmons following me? Does anybody know? Does anyone know what could have happened? What could be on his mind? You know, think about it. I'm always just going after him and his friends. So what could be on his mind? Who did we have last week that was a weird one that followed me? What was my little, uh, latest one? Harvey Harley Morenstein. Yes. That one really stuck with you. That huh? one really stuck with me. <laughs> uh, epic meal time. So Greg Fitzsimmons, what do you want with me? I check. I always check messages, too, to see if he shot me a little message here. You know, maybe he's just into Red Bar. Well, welcome, Greg. Welcome, Greg. We are watching you, Greg. We don't trust you. And I saw you on that first date. Have you guys seen That's First right. Date? Should we take first a look date, at him? First Date Baby? Yeah, pull up First Date Baby. This is a show. We're probably not going to cover this show a lot on our show. But I, I want to suggest that everybody starts watching First Date Baby on the Tom Segura Money Network. <laughs> Tom Segura, by the way, in huge, huge trouble. I mean, really, we're watching the turn. The turn is here. You know, for a guy like me who's been praying and hoping and warning people about Tom Segura for 15 years, you know, ever since I saw him with Patrick Melton, remember, they used to be a duo together. Tom Segura and Melton, they were peers. Look where Melton went. Look where Tom went. Melton could have been part of the Rogan crew. Melton might overtake him soon. He could. I mean, he's doing great with his steel toe. So um, Tom Segura, though, you know, I've been barking and barking that these guys are, they're not going to be happy until they have every penny from your wallet in their pockets. And we've seen this over and over again. It's finally getting to the point, you know, you saw with Tom Segura's airline tweet. That was a big People issue that. for him that airline tweet did she i think we were sick when that happened but he was you know complaining about his bags complaining about his luggage he took to twitter he took to twitter like the comedians do when they're frustrated on their planes and people did not respond well to this in fact tom segura he didn't just tweet he had a breakdown tom segura had a greedy man's Twitter breakdown for real. A public meltdown. He had a public meltdown. <laughs> and we're not kidding. It really was a public meltdown. Well, that opened everyone's eyes. And those YMH fans who've been paying six bucks a day to him for the last 17 years finally started going, maybe these guys are just in it for the cash. You know, him and Burt Kreischer, they have this show, Two Bears, One Cave. They refuse to do it together anymore until today, of course. They went probably 12 weeks without doing a show together, and the show has basically become Bertcast 2, which nobody likes. I mean, imagine watching Bert Kreischer interview someone. That's what the show has become, and people are really starting to see this. Tom Segura, for the guy I've been telling you he is for a very long time. Let's just celebrate Here, why that Why don't we moment. just quickly look at this? This is what describes... I always tell myself and I tell my dearest friends, always celebrate the moments you've been waiting for for years to come. Always take a second to celebrate. And people are seeing it. Tom Segura's uh, his uh, reputation has been tarnished and he's finally headed down. Uh, but he's got this show, First Date Baby. What were we going to show people here? Did you want to show them oh, a little Tommy? I sent you Greg Fitzsimmons on First Date Baby, if you want. I Great. was also going to send you... Oh. Did you have a little Tommy thing? We've got a lot of Tom stuff. but uh, I was going to talk about the money shots. The money shots. Yeah, <laughs> pull that up. Throw it over. Tom Segura is doing a thing. And he's doing a hundred. For everything we show you, he's doing a hundred more of these little money scams. Anything he can do. Uh, at this point, it's probably more than what the H3 podcast uh, is doing to their fans. I, although I don't think Tom takes donation, donations. Reminder, Ethan Klein still takes donations daily from his fans. The $30 million a year man with the Teddy Fresh and the Empire. He's taken donations 20 here, 5 here, 10 there, all day, every day from fans who just desperately want to say hi. Okay, did we have a... Money shots. Look at this. And I wish we had... So oh, he's going to do a little introduction for us. Great. We've got audio here. And no, I can't do any zoom-ins here. Will it do this? Nope. No zoom-ins until we take a break. 
All right, watch this. Here's Tom Shagura. What's up? We are introducing the very next small of money shots. These are photos taken on my last tour by the great Sean Nix. The last two rounds sold out. Super- and the fact that he has the nerve to call this money shots. He's gone. For those of you who don't know, we haven't been following. We haven't been doing a good job keeping you up to date with this. Tom has been, you know, like I've been saying, he's he's uh, been fighting with his audience uh, about, you know, him being the rich guy, him being so fancy and the audience being so poor. And they've been bumping heads for a while. And it's it came to a pimple there with the American Airlines tweet or the luggage tweet or whatever that was. Two weeks later, he's selling money shots. What are money shots? Well, they're beautiful black and white pictures of Tom Segura. I'm not kidding. And I just went to the link to the website that I had with all the pictures for sale, and they're actually all sold out, if you can believe that. He's just (laughs) simply selling prints of him posing. I might do some. Wouldn't that be cute? I think I could do some money shots. And to call it money shots, you know, the other thing that disgusts me about this guy is, is he's he's he takes on these innuendos as if that's his thing. You know, everything with him is 69. You know, he's doing some event now instead of 60 minutes. 69 69 minutes. minutes. Well, you got nothing to do with no innuendo, Tom. You're not an innuendo guy. It's just the first thing this guy could think about. Is something cheap like that. Money shots. Oh, they're coming. Are they coming? All over you and your three beautiful children? Money shots. You know, with the big uh, mentally challenged Russian woman that he's married to, constantly going to therapy every day so that she doesn't kill the children. You shouldn't be calling things money shots. Uh, and you shouldn't be selling them. Let's hear them out. Super fast. So if you want to get one, they are one of one prints. One of one prints. I wish you could see this. Here, Cameron has. Cameron has a solution. He says typing this into terminal Uh and then hitting enter on the keyboard might fix the zoom. Okay, let's open terminal. This is very scary. I don't ever open this terminal or activity monitor on their computer. Always have a (laughs) professional sitting in when you do this. This is scary. You know, my spotlight search ain't even working. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cut to me. I had my keyboard turn off during the time. I was washing my keyboard. I was washing. Watch this. Cut to the TV. What? Are you kidding me? Ah, the Zoom is back. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, so how are you doing anything? At the beginning of each show. That's why my space bar didn't work for the, to cue the music there God earlier. Did you oh, see that? Yeah. During the beginning of the show, Michael Davidson, imagine this. He turns all his equipment off so that there's not any accidental pushes. He sprays Windex all over everything he owns. And he sits and he polishes for, you know, most shows, they come on dirty. Most shows, they got a smudge here. You ever seen any dust here? This is a clean show. We might be drunk. That coffee table covered in dust. Most podcasts, if you look, you'll see layers of dust, crud, credibility. You'll see wire glue and tape and all this stuff. Not here. I was polishing up the keyboard. I wipe it clean before each show so there's no fingerprint, so it's nice. My mouse, too. My mouse goes off, and I sit and I wash all these cups, all this. Isn't that nice of me? I'm wearing a hat because I got leukemia. Okay, here, we're, we're. thank you, Cameron, for saving the show. Typing into terminal. I would have lost all my information if you I You were done. supposed to comment, type, kill all doc. Really? That's what was going to fix it. Okay, well, now let's do our... Uh-oh. Are you kidding me here? Am I doing the right thing? Why isn't it working now? What, are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't turn it back off, did I? Or wait, maybe I did. We're really, really, <laughs> really sorry. <laughs> Wait. No, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Hopefully you found just comedy in that, not <laughs> annoyance. Okay, here's Tom again. Look at this. Money shots. He's selling prints of himself. Here, Tom. 
Todd. It's up to you. It's up to you. Really fast. They're one of ones. You'll never find them. Oh, my Come God. On. This is what he's selling. <laughs> a one of one. Him and a half. Oh. <laughs> Am I allowed? You know, I always ask, are you allowed to dartboard? Are you allowed to use people for target practice or is that threat? Can I have a fool's dartboard that we cut to and every day I get drunk, you spin me around in the chair, I throw a dart. To me, having someone's face on a dartboard, that's classic. That's college. That's light. That's been happening for years. But I haven't seen it in a while. That could be cancelable now. I think someone He's should make people. a Chrome extension for when you're forced to watch like an entire Chris D'Elia podcast for work. Yeah. And a little thing where it puts a little target on his head and you can like target shoot at the guy. You could use a mini compound bow. I almost bought a mini compound bow off Instagram that has little suction cup things and you can go. <laughs> I, also, I got a new pointer in the mail coming, a nice pointer. Yes. Or, but look at this. This is money shots. One of one. That's not even a good picture. His chin looks look terrible. At him. That looks it's just him chilling on the steps before the show. Hey, why don't we get a quick picture of you before you go up on stage uh, so that we could sell it as a money shot. Imagine this. <laughs> Imagine this. And look at his face. How does he get away? Well, he's not getting away with it. Here's the beauty. People are finally catching on, but they need to they need to pull it back. They need to take away everything that he's taken from them. Well, let's see a little bit more. Once again, I hope uh, you find the city maybe that you want to show in. And that's it. Get a picture. That's it. Get a picture. Grab yours today at Money Shots. Do we have a link here? Now it just says the third batch hey guys, of Money Shots up? have we sold are out. Introducing we'll be releasing Do they don't soon. show the shots? Really? Shots. So he tried to delete all the evidence so that we couldn't see those Money Shots. What did the comments? Shame on anyone buying Money Shots. Are the commenters buying it? Oh, yeah. Let's check that. Money shots, money shots. Yeah, let's read those comments real quick and see, are they buying this? The content on YMH is going down the drain, and now they want more money for pointless photos? I may be a fat poor, but even I know this is toned up. Okay. Vila mood. Let the rhythm take me over, Vila mood. I'm very excited about this. This is the stuff you got to celebrate. You know, and what does it matter? Yes. Does it matter? They're all arguing pictures, delusion, money. Are you still selling images of yourself? Not cool guy ish at all. How do you get away with so Imagine if I tried to sell anything of me. Unless it's that Lauren Broad taking splooge to the dome. I'm out, son. Is that unless it's and that's who we're gonna talk about? Look at this. Unless it's that Lauren Broad. What's her name? Lauren Compton. Of course. She's the host of First Date Baby, where you see these comedians get horny as fuck over some triple Fs. You know, and this woman's got a lot of problems, but unless it's that Lauren Broad taking splooge to the dome, I'm out. So they really like her. It's amazing what a pair of breasts. It doesn't matter what the head is. It doesn't matter how wide the hips are, which is bad. Uh, these guys, as long as they get a giant pair of breasts, they, they work really work on me. Get, she's a great gal. It does work on me, too. But I did Google. You know, she's done a lot of nudes and a lot of OFs. She's I was in the bathroom the other day. I go, Lauren Compton nude. <laughs> these are some cheesy ass Playboy no. wannabe. Don't you think that she's the perfect she's person to be modeling nude? And she's actually like. No. Well, we could examine is. her nudes. Would you like me <laughs> no, to zoom no, no, in no, on no, her? No, 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 no. Puss. I read. Uh, do we have the show? First Day Baby? Oh, I Here it texted is. you Greg Fitzsimmons. So, Greg, look, this is all tying together now. Get- Greg Fitzsimmons follows me this morning. Tom Segura is doing money shots. They don't want the money shots unless it's Lord Compton. Maybe we should go to, can you find me one where she's got the boobs fully out first? Yeah. Because sometimes one? she covers up. The Mark Norman one was good, And right? that's not what Tom hired her for. Just find one with the biggest boobs you could see. So Tom Segura went out and hired a Playboy lady. An older, she's probably 40 years old. She's done Playboy for, you know, 20 years. She can't find a boyfriend. She's a date expert now where she has conversations with comedians to go over the red flags. Yeah. 
The only red flag is her. Okay, you know how many dates she's been on just trying to get a free dinner. She wants to go on a boat. She wants to I go courtside. I mean, what's the point side. of having big tits? She wants to be at the Knicks game. She's got her priorities all wrong. And no wonder she can't find a man. And now she's getting too old. And now you're looking like a desperate housewife type of lady. Did we find a big boob? Here's Mark Norman. Oh, and Mark Norman, how is he going to handle the breasts? Because he's Harry. This is a great episode. This week play. on oh, first date with Lauren the... Conklin. Oh. You know these girls are like, like, "Well, I never," and they're clenching their pearls. Get out of here! Yeah. You're, gonna, yeah. you're gonna put my I'll balls in your mouth, but you okay, can't hear us. Okay, his... okay, okay. Here, I'll do that again since Jewel skipped. I'm so. Excited. Here she is, Lauren Compton, Mark Norman. Whoa! Great song. First date, baby. This is Jewel singing. First date, I can't wait. This is a Tom Segura original. Love yeah. that song. Oh, Welcome back. okay. So you can't be walking around. <laughs> oh, wait. So the highlights are blown out. So these are these bazams here. And when you put these in front of a comic, ooh, do they get weird. So maybe she does have something <laughs> going on here. That's why show rules. She interviews com- comics with these out, and they really can't resist. Again, if you, you know, you got to see this. Yeah. Go look at the full nudes if you want. They're very outdated, cheesy Playboy photos where everything looks off. You like more modern, like indie sleaze style nudes? I like the kind of pictures that Anthony Cumia is looking at. Little tiny Brazilian girls looking like Anna. Justice for Anna! Justice for Anna! Coming up. (laughs) Justice for Anna. Taylor Swift, no different than Travis Scott. (laughs) Coming up later. Nobody's talking about this. We'll show you later. Okay. Uh, let's see how Mark Norman handles the big boob lady, because we've been wanting to introduce you to her for a while. Okay. To another episode Never look at Greg. of First Date with me as your host, Lauren Compton, my guest today. You might know him from his podcast, Tuesdays with Stories, or We Might Jesus. Be Drunk, or his Netflix special, Soup to Nuts. You can also catch him on his You Don't Say tour right now. Wow, well done. That Mark was great. Norman. Hey, watch this. Just watch this. Comedy. Uh oh. We got a leaf in your way. It's like All those right. old, like what you would see in Egypt where oh, they just yeah. fan you. Yes, yeah, the big gay king getting fanned by yeah. his uh, sexy. His sexy boys. Just watch now, I don't know if you this. know this or not, but I have this menu here. This is how this works. I Uh-oh. have some appetizer questions, some main course questions, and a dessert question. Are we going to eat anything? Just ass. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> well, give me a napkin because I'm going deep. <laughs> give me a spoon. We're going to start off with some appetizer questions. Where do you live typically? I live in the West Village of Manhattan. Okay. Oh, yeah. How long have you lived there? Uh, boy, it's been like 10 years now. Yeah? Living the dream. I always wanted to live in Greenwich Village and I finally made it. But uh, Also, before, do you need a safe word? Is there anything I should... Ooh. Do you want to give me a safe word here? Just say queef. Queef. Oh, yeah. do I hate this queef stuff he does. Wrap it up with that queef stuff, huh? I don't like the word either. This is First Day Baby. This is Lauren Compton. Tom Segura hired her to have a woman on the show with some breasts. I don't know how Christina Piss is allowing him to do we this. We go to 325. 325 of this one. And this is Mark Norman. This was pretty funny. This is the show that I'm recommending you guys watch on your own time. And you learn a lot about these comics through this. 325, you said? Yeah. Let's see what happens here. No, no. Dub beers. (laughs) Um, Or Kales, Zales. Kales, Zales. K. K Jewelers. There we go. All right, I'm learning. We're moving on with this question. Every kiss begins with K. K. All right. Um... So what's Sorry. your what's the your cleavage move? is distracting? Just looking forward. Look here. at that! The cleavage <laughs> is distracting. We knew this was going to hurt Mark. You know he's having a lot of what's called marital issues. Oh, have we been following? We're building a big case <laughs> to uh, personally deliver to Mark's new comedy wife. You know he's dating a comedian. I mean, married to a comedian. Mm-hmm. He got married. They're having marital problems, and he doesn't know how to not let that slip on all these podcasts that he does. So we've been clipping all these little parts together. We're building a whole book 
to hand deliver to this wife to go, look what Mark thinks of you. <laughs> this marriage, it's not working. But I like this. It was a cute part. So she's got these giant. I mean, you can't ignore them, really. You should be able to. That's what I'm saying. You know, when it comes to tense to this. But IRL, they're probably way huge. IRL, it's going to be a little Those distracting. They're filling the room. So let's see what he says when he sees those giants. So what's Sorry, your what's the your cleavage move? is distracting. Just looking forward here. <laughs> Facing Mecca. But you've put the sunglasses on so I can't see when you look. That's the point, sister. <laughs> you know, who, who do these women think they are with these giant fucking tits? Seriously, I, I mean, what goes through the mind if somebody goes, I'm going to be a woman that wears my breasts out every day. You seen this Pia Mia Mockenbeck? Have you seen these people that decide to do the full selling sunset cleavage day in and day out? I mean, if I mean, you've got them, you might as well. Well, I just think, I, I don't know what gives them the right. It gives you so much power. To do that. Yeah, well, it, believe me, the power that you're getting from this is not the power you're looking for. And that's why you end up single here in 40, you know, asking people about red flags. Now, <laughs> was there anything in that Greg Fitzsimmons first date? Because we're trying to figure out what he's following me for. I know, did we? We didn't talk about that on the show, did we? Well, no, this is the first time we've ever... Yeah, was there anything in that episode with Greg Fitzsimmons with her? You know, he's got a wife, too. I believe he is one of these cheaters. All right, we could do this with Here, Greg go Fitzsimmons. go to it and then go to six minutes in. I don't know what happens, but I have a random note from Do you get jealous ago. easily? Are you a jealous guy in a relationship? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I would say I was because That's I'm him. not a big guy. This motherfucker followed me this morning. <laughs> Imagine waking up to that. That's scary. Hey, Poppy, what you following me for? <laughs> what is it? This is what I'm starting to fucking look like. <laughs> 